been talking about how enzymes work inside an organism's body. Um, it helps speed up reactions by lowering activation energy, and we've talked a little bit about how enzymes work in seed germination and um, a lot of the other ways that they work, again, pretty much in organisms' bodies. However, let's talk a little bit about how we use enzymes and we can actually use them in, in everyday things and uh, some of the ways that we use enzymes in our natural world. So let's talk a little bit about how enzymes are used in washing powders or as we call it, laundry detergent. So a lot of times when you wear clothes, you um, sometimes get that dirty, um, sometimes there's blood, sometimes there's food. So we can use enzymes, which are found in some laundry detergents and washing powders in order to break down those items. So proteases, for example, they can break down proteins so they can remove blood. Um, lipases, those break down lipids and so those can remove greasy stains. So one of the things that um, when you have grease or you get things on you, these washing powders when added to laundry can help break those down. So what type of temperature do you think that these biological washing powders would work best at? Think about what we just learned about with pH and temperature in our last video and see if you can figure out what do you think the temperature would be best at? Think about denaturing of enzymes and think about the optimum temperature that these, um, that these enzymes might work at. Enzymes are also used in food industry. And I believe sometime in class I mentioned that pectin is the fruit, uh, is the sugar that's found in fruit. So if we were to use pectinase, which is an enzyme to break down those sugars called pectin, then that is used to extract juices from fruit. And this could then create fruit juice. So our apple juices, orange juices are typically made because of pectinase. High protein foods are treated with proteases in order to break down the proteins in baby food. Since babies, when you're born, don't have the same um, level of sensitivity to some of the foods that we eat. This is why as a baby, you typically start on some smaller foods, some liquidy foods, then you move to a little bit less solid food, then you move to solid foods. And that way the baby can um, kind of get a little sensitized or desensitized to those things. So proteins, um, proteases are put into baby food to break down some of that protein to allow the baby to digest those proteins in the baby food. Also, um, creation of sugars from starches, such as potatoes or grains, are usually done with an enzyme. So in the news, we hear a ton about high fructose corn syrup. Well, this isn't actually made from a sugar. It's made from corn, and corn is a starch. So by adding um, our enzymes that are going to be able to um, change our starches, kind of break them down into sugars, we're able to get things like high fructose corn syrup. And also the enzyme isomerase is able to convert glucose into fructose. And that also allows us to use some of those, um, some of those fruits or the sugars that are found in fruit. So as you can see, enzymes aren't just here in our bodies or organisms' bodies to help digest food or to speed up chemical reactions to make life possible, but we also are able to use them in food industry and as washing powders in order to clean our clothes.